Yo, welcome back in another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you full tutorial how you can be qualified for the ZK Sync airdrop. So as you can see, there will be a token in the future. He estimated the sequencer will be decentralized in around one year time. That means we have quite a lot of time to participate and use this protocol to be fully qualified for the token. So let me show you step by step. We're gonna talk about how what you need to do on the testnet, what you need to do on the mainnet, and also ZK Sync Lite. First step, guys, you need to go to the chainlist.org and you need to add your ZK Sync era testnet. So let's start with this one. Connect your wallet. Also tick the box to include the testnet networks. So once you got that ready, click add to MetaMask and you're going to have your network in your MetaMask. So now let's start with ZK Sync Lite. So what you need to do on this website, you go to lite.zksync.io and you're going to have your available balance on L2. So first you need to go to top up. You need to use as many different functions and features that this website provides to us. So first you need to click on the top up button. Once you do that, you have your bridges down below and I would advise you to use at least three of these. I use ZK Sync, ZigZags and also Orbiter. The more different protocols you're gonna use, that's better. So first, click on the ZK Sync. Now you're gonna have your um, normal Ethereum. You need to be connected with your Ethereum network. So you have your balance here and you basically can top up 0.1. And I think above 0.1 is really good in my opinion. You click top up and it's gonna take a few minutes to confirm the transaction. So once you got that ready, you can also use the Orbiter. So if you go to Orbiter website, that's the another protocol that you can bridge your funds from Ethereum to ZK Sync Lite. So the minimum that you can transfer is 0.0005. And that's the another protocol that you interact with on the ZK Sync network. Next, you want to use the ZigZag protocol. So once you click on the button, it's going to open up the ZigZag bridge. You want to connect your wallet in him and just try to transfer the minimum as well where you can. For example 0.004 or 0.05 wherever you can afford the more protocol that you're going to interact with now that's also better for the future because maybe they're going to have different criteria that you have to meet like for example interact with at least 10 different protocols so we are trying to interact with as many different protocols to give you the best allocation next you want to use the swap feature so you can click on the swap button and in here we are on the zigzag exchange where you can trade different pairs like for example if to usdc so make sure you are connected to ZK Sync Lite because maybe you are connected to Arbitrum, but make sure you are on the ZK Sync Lite network. If you connect your wallet, um, you can sell and buy your Ethereum or you can buy your USDC. You can also select different purse, but I would advise you to just use USDC and if. So basically, you can sell it. Just do, for example, ten different trades on different times. Um, try to use this platform every few weeks so at least one time in a month because you have to stay active on the network so make sure you do at least five different transactions five to ten different transactions buy and sell because also the amount of transactions that you're gonna make will also count as well for the future allocation next you want to mint your own nft so click on the nft section click on mint nft and now we have different fields so we need to find our content address and the cid let me show you what you need to do. You'll need to go to pinata.cloud website. I'm going to link this down below. Create a free account and in here you'll need to add some files. So if you click on the add files button, click on file, you'll need to drag and drop your file and the image that you really want. So once you got that ready, you're going to get your file on the in the cloud and it's going to show up the CID. So once you click it, you're going to copy this to your clipboard. You're going to go back to ZK Sync Lite and in here you need to paste your CID. Once you got it ready, click on authorize to mint and also mint your NFT and your NFT is going to show up almost instantly in here. So now you want to get some testnet tokens on the ZK Sync to test some different applications. So first of all, you need to request some tests from the faucet um, by going to the faucet section and request funds from the faucet. Or the next website that I recommend you guys you can use is Gorley Paw Faucet where you can paste your ETH address or ENS name and you're going to start minting your testnet tokens. Or instead of Gorly, you can use ZK Sync. As you can see now, there's no funds in this faucet. So I'm going to link this down below. So maybe there will be funds in different time. But once you're going to mint some Gorly ETH, you can go back to the uh, Gorly portal that ZK Sync. And in here, you're going to have your bridge. So from Gorly, you can see that we can bridge, for example, 0.1 to ZK Sync era testnet. So you need to deposit the funds and the funds will show up within a few minutes as you can see five minutes so now we have that ready we can test some different applications on zk sync and in here we have different applications built on the zk sync network recently zk sync upgraded to mainnet era 
So some of these apps, they might not work on the testnet, only on mainnet. But some of these apps that I recommend you guys you can use on testnet now is, for example, Mess Protocol. So if you go back to uh, Mess Protocol, I'm going to link this down below. You can connect your wallet and try to sell and buy some ETH, made at least five different transactions. Another app that you can use is, for example, SyncSwap. If you go to SyncSwap, um, you can connect to your testnet connect your wallet and make some different swaps i suggest you use this website to try to find some online apps that you can use like for example mute so we're gonna use these apps on the mainnet next step that you need to do you need to go to the crew 3 website at xyz and you want to find the zk sync group in here you can find different questions you need to answer them there's not a lot of, the, of these is going to take you max 10 minutes to finish this basically you can join um to this group make sure you join it to the discord that's one of these quests follow them and retweet some tweets on twitter and also you can see that we have some security questions twitter some questions about the projects and the roadmap so we need to read some documents so now we did light zk sync we tested also testnet apps so now let me show you what you need to do on the portal ckxsync.io which is the mainnet error so you'll need to transfer some of your funds from the ethereum mainnet to ck sync like i said before everything above 0.1 if is really good so it's gonna take up to five minutes to deposit your funds so once you got that ready you can use different apps on the mainnet if you go to this website i'm gonna link this down below you can see we have different apps like for example mute um gnosis and things like that so one of these apps i recommend you guys you can use is mute basically you connect your wallet to this website and you can do different swaps you can swap from ETH to for example usdc or mute tokens so make sure you do at least five different transactions you can also deposit your funds to the pool and try to experiment with this platform overall the next website i can use is zk sync a sync swap so once you connect it to mainnet also you can do the same thing try to do at least five different swaps from usdc to eve from eve to different pair also you can go back to the pools and try to provide some liquidity to different pairs like for example eve and usdc you can choose any of this list that you can see in here next protocol that you can use is mint square which allows you to uh, collect and sell your nfts and also you can mint your nft once you connect it uh, you can select your nft you can add the title description whatever you really want and mint so that's really all we have to do if you go back to this website you can also explore different nfts as you can buy some of these nfts some of these you can't but you can see some people selling these nfts so that's already on mainnet so you can buy them you can also create your own nft and try to list it maybe you're gonna sell it maybe you're gonna make some money of it and last step that i think is gonna put you in a better light is by donating on the gitcoin website to different grants so if you go to bounties.gitcoin.co um, if you search for explore grants you can also search for the trending i'll show you guys how you can do it on the metamask where you have to pay with if so for example we have this grant zk rollup.xyz you can add it to the card you can go back to your card and you donate at least ten dollars i think above ten dollars is really good and make sure you pay with the zk zk sync network so do not pay with if try to pay with zk sync network you're gonna pay very small fee for the transaction but i think it's gonna be very useful if they're gonna announce the different criteria for the airdrop maybe gitcoin will qualify as one of these so there's plenty of time to finish all of these quests try to use these protocols try to interact with the zk sync network at least one time a month because the token is coming in around one year's time so you have plenty of time to stay active on the zk sync network and also guys if you like this video uh, join my discord because this is where we share different upcoming nft projects and also airdrop opportunities comment down below what you think about this video subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next one